I just don't know what to say to my granddaughters when they ask, well, what happened to my dad? It's like, I guess God just wanted him, yeah. Sylvia Solis says she's been living a nightmare for the last five years since her son, Hector Solis, was found dead. All I want is peace for us, for the whole family. Solis's sister, Erica, and her husband were the last to see him alive. He had been staying with them for two weeks and had planned on going out that Friday night. He said, well, I'm going to go meet up with my homeboys. They're going to pick me up. We're going to the party. Solis was dropped off at the 35 and Randolph Park and Ride by his brother-in-law. Having no cell phone of his own, Solis was using his brother-in-law's cell phone to call friends. That was the last time he was seen alive by his family. The neighbors from 1443 Fulton went out uh, because they were alerted by one of the other neighbors that someone was in their front yard and happened to be Hector Solis. Next to Solis's body, which was found near Fulton and Near, police say they found a cell phone, a cell phone that his family claims doesn't belong to any of them or to the victim. Now with that cell phone and the help of someone out there that may have information, the family hopes to find whoever shot and killed Solis. I don't want another family hurting the way we are. And they have this warning for anyone who may know who the killer is. They'll turn on anybody. If they did it to one person, they'll do it again. Jamie Virgin, Fox News at 9.